Well, here we are, KTM demo day. We're gonna be riding the new Super Duke R1290 2. It's basically the same bike, same frame, different panels on the back, different headlight, new keyless ride. Just go like this and turn it on. Ready to race. So it's got titanium valves, like four more horsepower, something like that. Same riding mode, same bike, same everything. It's just got different way of different way of showing it. Bars are black. These are now tinted. Does it have a quick shifter? We'll soon find out. Is there a quick shifter in Canada yet, or no? If someone has a quick shifter, quick shift is and it's it's turned on or whatever. Yeah, it's already on. Okay. Oh yeah, quick shift. You're right. Cool, man. Right on. So yes, there is a quick shifter. The headlamp is cool, it's new, it's fresh. It feels the same, this is different, there's no key here. This is black, like I said. Bit more buttons, cruise control. Horn button. Oh, I missed my power parts levers, I tell you that much. Man, I love when you can adjust everything to be your own bike, you know what I'm saying? And this is definitely uh, not my bike, so I need to adjust some, sh some shiznats. Let's just get this. Let's just get this clutch a little closer. There we go, that feels much better. It feels exactly the same as my bike, to be honest. It's just got the, like, you know, way nicer screen, right? Uh, some heat in these tires. Um, the bars are a little bit more lower. There's the risers gone or something like that, and then it's a bit forward, so it does feel a little bit more, feels more a little bit aggressive, I like it. So boys got spotted. I forget how good the stock exhaust sounds. I don't think I've even ridden it with the stock exhaust to be honest. No, I have it. I've never ridden this bike with the stock exhaust. So that sounds good. No heated grips on this one, but you can add it, I'm sure, just like mine. I also have the power part seat, which is much nicer than this stock seat. But the stock seat has been changed for this year, so... Man, that quick shifter is beautiful! I need that in my life! Wow. It's the same thing, it's just a little bit more updated, a little more refined. I can't get over how nice this is. It's like having an iPhone right there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're totally stuck in traffic. The group is way gone, which kind of sucks because I don't know the route. So I'm just gonna do my own route, I think, and go back. Because we hit two traffic lights, so that kind of sucks. But I forget how loud the stock exhaust is. Ah, oh, Snowcat. <laughs> Man, my bike has the Acker on it, the same exhaust mine does. <laughs> it's just got the black one, duh. So there you go. That chick's on her phone, she's eating a burrito. <laughs> I can't believe that. It sounds exactly like mine because it's got the same pipe on it. Ah, uh, that's funny. So cat, so stupid. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Also, his bike, the other Super Duke, has a stock exhaust on her. You're missing two guys. So they're way back there. We got stuck at two lights in a row. Right right on Blackfoot there. So everyone's here, yay! Because after this I didn't know the route. I, I stopped listening. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna get lost and then I got lost, so. Because this is the south, this is the deep south. I don't live down here, I have no idea what the main roads are. There's adjustable engine braking, I think, on this one, but I don't know how to get to it when the bike is in movement. I don't think you can, actually. It's got tire pressure, 39 front, 46 rear. Uh, Odo, battery temp, trip two, trip one, favorites, ride mode, street, uh, sport, hello. Ah, uh, you can change it on the fly now. That's cool. 
Oh, there we go. That's much better. Traction control off. Yep. That quick shifter, I tell you. So if you guys don't know, when I quick shift my bike, I just close the throttle for a split second and bang it up a gear. That way the gears are floating like this and not touching either which way. So when that happens, it's really smooth. Don't need the clutch. I never use the clutch on the way up. Uh, it's smoother, it's quicker, long story short. But for this bike, it has an electronic quick shifter, which when you bang it up, it closes the throttle by itself for that split second and it's perfect. It's per You keep the throttle wide open and it just goes pop 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 bam 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 and it's a uh, sensational absolutely sensational and i need it on my bike we don't have it we had it on our bike but uh, it was removed for a year because people were destroying the transmission or something ktm wasn't quite ready something like that i remember in the news but now we have it so suspension is unchanged all that good stuff it's basically just updated with electronics the screen the headlamp the led lights which they've removed the flash to pass function which is an, which is weird this is on or off now that's it on the front switch i don't know if it's down or not i think it's got to be i think it is because that would be way too hard on my bike so it also rev matches on the down too which is gnarly You have to be accelerating though to use it or it won't let you do it which makes sense because idling it'll be really rough and really like uh, 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 you know not good wow other than that she's really dirty because i don't clean them i guess but other than that black frame i have an orange frame i like it i like it a lot this guy's really slow in the corner the two up adventure guys beating you <laughs> In terms of like performance, it's got some different insides, um, which is titanium valves, I believe, which is good for four more horsepower, which is not really noticeable. I haven't noticed it. The biggest thing for me is the visuals. Everything on this bike looks different. The front, the thinned out side blades, the rear has no more hips, has all new controls, new Brembo, uh, new clutch, master cylinder. It's just, it's just so different. Like, it's, everything here is different. The colors are different. The white, I found out, has a silver tank now, which is kind of cool. In terms of riding it, it feels exactly the same. The tires are different this year, Metzler's versus the Dunlops we have on our bikes. In terms of comparisons, I don't think the price point is worth it for me to upgrade because my bike is not worth that much anymore having so many kilometers on her. This one is now 22 and change, so like, if I get 14 for mine, 15 for mine, if I'm lucky, you know, it's $8,000 more for practically the same thing, just with some with some cool uh, technology on it. It's got wheelie control, which is different from traction control. Mine will not let you wheelie at all. With wheelie control, this bike lets you wheelie, but still have traction control, which is kind of nice. It's being separated. It's got cornering ABS, so if you jam on the brakes in a corner, it'll, it'll still work with ABS. It won't uh, wash your front out. It's got some cool features, I must admit. I don't really need those systems because to be honest, on my bike, I ride with them all off anyways. Every single day I'm on my bike, except when I'm in rain. And that's gonna wrap up this review, guys. I don't wanna go on too long. You know, it's a street review. It feels the same as my bike. I just wanted to let you guys know. We get a lot of questions. Am I upgrading to the new bike? You know, it depends if I uh, want to spend the money and i rather put it towards a different bike. My bike's still fantastic. Just came back from the track with it. It was amazing. Had so much fun. I want to put some more money into it to get it a little bit better for the track. But long story short, guys, if you're looking at KTMs, man, go do a demo day. Try it. You'll be addicted. This thing is just, just this gnarly. An R1M guy just got off the... Uh, just got off his bike, took the Super Duke out and said, he's like, wow, it's amazing because it's a sit up naked. It's a different style of bike. So go to a demo day, try it out. You will enjoy it. Yeah, it's definitely got downshift. I should know that. <laughs> Snow Kit, you didn't even read the manual before you went out? Uh, nope. <laughs> Just give me the bike, let me try it out. That's a fantastic bike too, the 1290 Super Adventure. That was fun, I wish I had more time on that guy. So this guy here, he knows me. I want to tell him, stop shifting up. You don't have to. Stop using the clutch on your upshifts.
Man, we ride at a healthy pace here on the KTM demo day. That's hilarious. It's beautiful downtown Calgary. I never come down here, so you guys never see it. Oh, let's try cruise control. Check that out. And you can go increase to, to 85. There you go. Oh man, could you imagine touring like that? You just have your hands out. You're just like, what up? What's up, boys? Oh man, that would be just epic for the for the trips. Give your hand a rest. Oh, that's fancy. That is fancy. If I hit the brakes, it'll turn off. Yes, it will. And you can hit resume just like a car. Go resume. There, now she's in again. Oh, that is so well done. Just go. <laughs> good, good job, KTM. That is epic. That is epic. <laughs> what video am I going to make? That's what I'm thinking about right now. And boys and girls, it wouldn't be possible to make a video like this without my sponsors. So I really appreciate Forza Canada for hooking me up with the gear I'm wearing. I'm wearing everything from Forza except for my helmet and my boots. So I really appreciate that. Got these new gloves, carbon fiber kangaroo. They are fantastic. Matches my suit. Super comfortable. I wonder if you accelerate, if it'll remember. Yes, it'll it'll stay on. If you accelerate, it will remember and keep you there. But I'm not gonna slow down anyways, because there's cars here. So if you break or clutch in, it'll turn it off. Oh, and it goes it goes grayed out. Oh man, cruise control. Ah, I love it. Is it eight grand love it though? I don't know. The coolest thing though is no key anymore. It's all done through a keyless fob. You just press the button, do your thing. It's just got all the new tech, which I love. I love features. I love the tech. Man, the clutchless upshifting and downshifting is nice as well. Works so well, so smooth. There we go, boys and girls. That's the end of the video. Oh. Yep, she's nice. I'm not sold on this though because it goes orange and then it goes clear so it makes it look pink up here even though it's it's orange but the frosting makes it look pink of course you get the euros on there mine guys has the orange frame it's black everywhere else they went black everything there's no more orange anymore except for the wheel stickers which is an option you can take those off yeah what do you guys think i don't know is it worth it eight grand 15 to 23 i don't know